Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice algebra equation solution from here. And what we have here which is x squared minus y squared equals to 65. You're finding x and y, where x and y are member of positive integer thing. All right, what we have here is this we have x plus y into brackets, open bracket x minus y, and difference of 2 squared, and that is equal to 65. Then, since x and y are member of positive integer, it implies this first bracket, which is x plus y, which is greater than the second bracket, which is x minus y. Then, the possible way of writing 65, the factor of 65, you can see 65 times 1, or we have 1 times 65, or we have 5 times 13. Or we have 13 times 5. That is from here. The first bracket, the first number here is bigger than the second one. This will satisfy. Why this will not? Also, this will not satisfy. Also, this satisfy. Then we have two possible cases from here. That is from case 1, which is 65 times 1. It implies the equation here becomes x plus y into bracket open bracket x minus y then equals to 65 times 1. That is it implies x plus y equals to 65 and x minus y equals to 1. Then we solve this equation simultaneously. When we had we eliminate y x plus x that's 2x then equals to 65 plus 1, that's 66. And divide both side by 2, divide this side by 2, also divide this side by 2. Two cancel each other here. Me x equals to 66 over 2, that's 33. That is, we have x is 33. Then we get the value of y here. I use the second equation, which is x minus y equals to 1. That is 33 minus y equals to 1. Then we collect the like thing. 1 comes here, minus y equals the f33 minus 1, then equals to y. This is 32 equals to y. And this y equals to 32. And we can write out the solution as in form of x comma y now equals to 33 comma 32 here. So this is the first solution we have. Then let's consider the second case. That is 13 times 5. What we have here. Considering this case as case 2, it is 13 times 5. Then this equation, which is x plus y into bracket open bracket x minus y then becomes equals to 13 times 5 that is the first bracket here x plus y is equals to 13 and second bracket x minus y equals to 5 then as we solve this simultaneously by eliminating y we had here x plus x has 2x and equals to 13 plus 5, that's 18. Divide both side by 2. Also, here, yeah, 2 cancel each other. We have x equals to 18 over 2, that's 9. So, x equals to 9 here. Also, we get the corresponding value of y using this second equation or the first equation, whatever, whichever. We have x minus y equals to 5. Then, x here that's 9 minus y equals to 5 then we have 9 minus 5 equals to y 9 minus 5 that's 4 equals to y it means y equals to 4 that is now also for this case x comma y is equals to 9 comma 4 then here in this problem, we have this 
two sets of solution here. The first one, x1 comma y1 equals to 33 comma 32, x2 comma y2 equals to 9 comma 4. Then let's check if this solution satisfies this given problem. On the first solution, we substitute here, which is 33 comma 32. So this is x, this is y. Then this equation becomes x squared, that will be 33 squared minus y squared, that's 32 squared. This is equal to 65 on this side. That is 33 squared. I write that as 33 multiplied by 33. Of course, here, yeah, 3 times 3, 9, also 3 times 3, 9, 3 times 3, 9, 3 times 3, 9. Then when we had from here, this gives us 9, then we have 18, then, and for 33 square, that gives us 1,989 minus also 32 square. We have 32 times 32, 2 times 2, 4, 2 times 3, 6, also 3 times 2, 6, 3 times 3, 9. Then we had here as well. At this, we have 4, that's 2, then 10. That's 1,024 here. This is equal to 65 on this side. Then when we subtract from here, Minus 1024. Yeah, then minus four, that's five. Eight minus two, six. This becomes zero, zero, which means we have 65. That is, this becomes 65 equals to 65 here, which implies we have left hand side equals to the right hand side. And this first solution here yes, satisfies. The given equation now also we check for the second solution that is which is 9 comma 4 the equation we have becomes x squared that's 9 squared minus y squared 4 square this equals to 65 here yeah? then 9 squared that's 9 times 9 that's 81 minus 4 square 4 times 4 16 this is equal to 65 on this side. And of course, 81 minus 16, that's 65, equals to 65 here. Left hand side equals to the right hand side. And therefore, also the second solution here, 9 comma 4, satisfies this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget the steps. Subscribe for more videos. Turn the notification bell on. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, and put your comments. See you next class and bye for now.